Hello! Welcome back to Anatomy with Amanda and Happy New Year. We're going to start the year off strong by learning about our heart muscle, which is extremely strong. It pumps our blood to the rest of our body 24 7 and it doesn't take any breaks. It can't take any breaks. It is so important that our heart pumps blood to our whole body at every point of the day. So we are going to get into the anatomy of the heart and how blood circulates in the heart. So our heart, we have two parts of our heart. We have the right side and the left side and both parts of the heart are going to bring blood to different parts of our body and it's also going to receive blood from different parts of our body. So to begin we have the superior and inferior vena cava. Think V for vein. Blood is going to enter the superior vena cava from the, this is going to be from the top of the body, and this is going to be from the bottom of the body, like our legs and our abdomen, and it's going to enter our right atrium. Then it's going to pass through the tricuspid valve. We have the tri means three, it's going to, see we have one, two, three cusps. It's gonna pass through into the ventricle. And you can see here there is a lot of muscle. So when the heart contracts, the blood is going to be pushed up through the pulmonary valve into the pulmonary artery. This is going to send blood to our lungs. And it's blue because it has low oxygen. This is just for example, it's blue because it has low oxygen. So in the lungs, when we breathe, we breathe in, we get oxygen. So once the blood has oxygen in it, it's going to enter the left atrium right here. It's going to then pass and empty into the left ventricle. And this is the mitral valve or the bicuspid valve. So this is tri, which is three. Bi is going to be two. And it's going to enter here. We have one, two. And then when the heart contracts, again, we see we have a lot of muscle here. It's going to be pushed through the aortic valve into the aorta. And the aorta is going to send blood that is, has oxygen into our entire body. So these three branches here are going to send blood to our head and our neck. And then you can see in this picture, we have the descending aorta, which is going to give blood to oxygenated blood to our abdomen and our legs and our feet. So there are a few more important things to mention about the heart before we wrap this up. So remember that the arteries, that is gonna be the aorta and this side of the heart, this is going to send oxygen with rich blood away from our heart. So our heart is going to get that oxygen blood. It's gonna send it out to the body. So think arteries away. A and A, arteries send blood away from the heart. And we also have the veins, which are going to receive blood from the arteries that is has no more oxygen in it because the body is using that oxygen and it's going to be sent through the inferior vena cava and the superior vena cava. It's also important to mention that our valves, the heart valves, which are between the atriums and the ventricles, they are very important to prevent backflow. So again, remember we have the tricuspid, we have the pulmonary, the aortic, and the mitral valve. So the blood's gonna pass through and then it's gonna shut like a door. So for example, if I walk through a door that's open, let's pretend I'm the blood, I'm passing through the door and once I'm through, the door shuts behind me and I can't get past. So it's very important we have these valves to shut, shut the heart doors in order to prevent backflow and make sure everything is in working order. So thank you for watching. I hope everybody learned something new and stay tuned for next week. Bye-bye.